So here we go. Solving trig equations, day two. This is when we get to the, this is when we're going to do the as tough as it gets type problems. And uh, let's do it up. So what are we going to do with this first problem right here? Thanks. Let me do plus three to each side. Right? Tan theta equals three. What do we do from here? Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we're dividing by rad 3. We're solving it just like a normal problem, and we get that the tan of theta equals 3 over square root of 3. You can't have a radical in the denominator if you are presenting that as your final answer. But if you are just using it for your calculator purposes, no one's really ever going to know. So we're going to inverse it. Yep, we're going to inverse it up. What do you get? 60 degrees. Now look, tan of theta is positive. We were looking for a positive number. Now what quadrants is tan positive in? First and the third. You know, because of my dumb song, right? Everybody remember my song from yesterday? Everywhere we go, people want to know, where is tan positive? So we tell them, which quadrants? One and three. 1 and 3. So since 1 is a possible, since 1 is a quadrant that we were looking for, this is one of the answers. Take that same triangle, throw it down into quadrant 3, like it was your job, because technically as long as you're in school it is. Down over here, 60 degrees, and how much did it take to get there? How many degrees does it take to get down over there? What? 240. Now, some people also, and truthfully, it was really me, got really tired of writing. You know how at the end of each one of these problems, I write my final answer? Final answer is? Well, I, here's another way that you could do that. It's equivalent to putting a box around your answer. And we're going to use these funny-looking parentheses that only some people can draw. If you're one of those people that can draw those, you're good to go. Otherwise, you have to write final answer. Or put a box around your answer. All right, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Question number two. Question number two. Going to take my, my proper collared shirt, khaki pant, boat, boat shoes type approach. I'm going to say, OK, x is equal to the sine of theta, and then just convert the problem. x squared minus x equals 0. So look, the, this x squared minus x equals 0 is something you might have seen in ninth grade. And after yelling at your teacher and saying that, oh, this is mad work, I can't do this, then after you settled down in your seat and said, all right, I can do this, what would you have done? Factored. Of course you would have. Yeah. We're going to solve it. x equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0, adding 1 to both sides. And then look, you've solved it. Now convert back. What's up? Convert back. So you have the fact that the sine of theta equals 0 and the sine of theta equals 1. So here it is. It's like, it's like 2 for 1. You know what I'm saying? We got one problem that's split, and now it's two separate problems that you have to solve. Yes. Yeah. There's, there's like two sets of scenarios now that you have to look at. It's amazing. I love this. This is absolutely fantastic. Couldn't be any happier. Let's inverse it. Inverse it. You know what the inverse sine inverse of zero is? I think it is. Hmm. 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 Is it? It's not 90, it's 0. Who said 90? What? McCarm, did you use your calculator? Okay, McCarm, we're not allowed to take any answers from you unless you use your calculator. Who used their calculator? Thank you. Here we go. Come on. Come on. 
come on. So here we go. We're going to plot that. If you get 0 or 1, okay, you're going to have to draw the circle because that means it actually exists on one of these borders of the unit circle. Where is the sign equal to 0? Well, it's equal to 0 right over here at theta equaling 0 degrees. But then is there any other spot that you can think of where sine theta, where, where sine is equal to 0? Monkey? I see it in you. What's up? Yeah, the complete other side. Great job, bro. Great job. Yeah, there's one other place. Draw on your unit circle. Right down over here. You see the cosine is negative 1, but the sine, the y coordinate, is 0. And how much does it take to get over here? Yeah, 180 degrees. So that's another possible answer. So theta could be 180. These types of problems that we're doing right now are all six-point questions on your regions. These are lots of credit. This is hence lots of work. What's up, buddy? All right, let's do the other one. Do me a favor, inverse sign it for me. What's sign inverse of 1? 90 degrees. Let's draw it in. 90 degrees occurs up over here. Is there any other spot on this unit circle where the y coordinate is 1? What do you think? Nope. Not, there is no other spot on that unit circle where the y coordinate is 1. And hence, our final answer for this problem is three choices 0, 180, and 90. Somebody in first period goes, So I don't, do I have to put them in order? Am I going to lose points? And I said, No, I'm not that petty. I'm not that cheap. Right, and trying to take away points from you. But you do either have to put a box around your answers or put them in brackets like this to indicate solutions. Check this one out. If you thought the last one was bad, wait for this one. Let's do it. Guess what approach I'm going to take. Guess what I'm breaking out. Breaking out my collared shirt, my khaki pants, my boat shoes. Because guess what approach I'm taking. I'm going to take a real classy approach and say, let x equal cos theta. Yep. Cos squared minus x equals 2. We're going to set it equal to 0. We're going to factor it. And we're going to solve it. And so what is this? So now here's where I got to. And if x is equal to 2, then the cos of theta equals 2. And if x equals negative 1, then the cos of theta equals negative 1. Where? If you try and attack this right side of the problem, and you try and inverse it, like cos inverse of, whoops, yeah, cos inverse of 2, you do. You get an error. And let me explain to you why it is you would get the error. Talk to me about the unit circle. What do you know about it? It's a circle. It's a circle. Where is it centered at? And where is, what's its radius? So that means what really is the highest it could go? 1. So to have a value at 2 is not even on the unit circle. And so therefore, there's an error. Error. And I'm used to this, but you guys might not be. What do you think I'm going to do? Of course, I'm going to reject it. I'm used to getting rejected. It's OK. It doesn't even phase me anymore. Any questions on that side? So there's nothing to do. Let's do the right side. Let's inverse negative 1. What do you get? 180. 180 degrees. Let's just check. Is there any other spot on this circle 
where the, where the x coordinate could be negative 1. Yes or no? That's the only spot, and therefore the final answer to the problem is simply 180 degrees. Right? You've seen when there's one solution. You've seen when there's two solutions. Have we seen where there's three solutions? Guess how many solutions there are on the next one? No, there's not eight solutions. You're about to see the maximum total. All right, guys. Here's the deal. This is the last problem of the day. The last problem of the day. You're not going to have any homework tonight because what I'm going to tell you is this. If you had trouble with the, any of the work that we did in class today, all I want you to do is copy down the problem and try and redo it. You have a great answer key with you. You even have a video that goes with it. Okay, that should be plenty of practice to try and get the hang of it. Let's do this last one. What kind of approach do you think I'm going to take? A real classy approach. A real classy approach. I'm going to say, let x equal tan theta. And therefore, x is going to be equal to 1 over x. What do you do from there? You do. You do what every scared ninth grader does on their Regents exam. You cross multiply. You see, look, it even looks like a hug. Oh, it makes you feel better. Right? Or a Band-Aid. Okay. In any event, when you get done cross multiplying, you get x squared equals 1. What squared is 1? What's the other thing squared is 1? Yeah. There's two answers. Remember that. You take plus or minus the square root of each side. And you get that x is plus or minus 1. And now we're going to sub back. The tangent of theta, there are two possible choices for it. There's 1 and there's negative 1. Did I lose anybody along the way? No? Are there any questions along the way? Oh, boy. Let's set this up. Let's set this up. Tangent of theta equals 1. Tangent of theta equals negative 1. Let's inverse it. What's the inverse of 1? Forty five degrees. Let's do this. Let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. Let's get out of here. Here's what we're going to do. Tangent is positive in which two quadrants? The first and third. I would sing my song, but everybody gets annoyed by it. What's up? What? Song? Everywhere we go. People want to know. Where's tan positive? So we tell them. Quadrants one and two. Yeah, 45 degrees will work, and quadrant 1 is a choice where tan is positive. So one of the answers is that theta could be 45. What's up? So question. Tell me up. Tell me, which tell me what's your question, Alicia. Ooh, I like your style. I like the way you're thinking. The other place that tangent is positive is in this third quadrant. And the reference angle is 45 degrees. The question is, is how much do you have to go to get all the way down there? Nah, chill, chill, chill. Not 135. What is it? 225. That's another option for theta. Let's do the other half. You guys, are, I'm psyched up. I'm psyched. I'm amped up. I love this stuff. I'm hype. Is that how I say it? I'm, I'm hype. Okay, anyways. See, I'm learning here. I'm learning. Let's do this. Let's inverse tan of negative 1. What do you get? Ooh, sneaky person. Sneaky person. I got negative 45. Is that one of my possible answers? Yes or no? 
Why not? Very nice, Max. Yeah, because it's less than zero. Excellent observation. Still, there's an important piece of information here, right? The reference angle is 45. How much do I have to swing around to get down over here? 315. And that's a possible option for theta. That's a possible option for theta. Where else is tan negative? In the second quadrant. Very nice. Very nice. Up in the second quadrant. Didn't 50 Cent have a song about that? Up in the second quadrant. No, I guess not. There you go. How much do you have to get? Uh, how much did you have to go to get to the second quadrant to be 45 right there? To be up in the second quadrant like that? Yeah, 135. Very nice, guys. Very nice. And I'll tell you right now. Let's write. Oh my God! Look at all of our answers. Jeez. So if I look at your sheet and I have to go through and check that, I'm I'm marking it wrong for you. Yeah, because that's annoying. I'm telling you. You do all that work, I'm going to mark you wrong, and I'm going to make you come up and explain to me why it is that you couldn't do the following. Write them all in a nice, concise place. Final answer to the problem is 45, 225, 135, and 315, in any order that you want, but all together.